Y'all know nothing about this, you need to pay attention. Sit back and relax, it's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. down here on 22nd Broadway in the Russell neighborhood and I'm at the Fish House and Grill. There's actually three locations. There's one in Shepherdsville and one in Radcliffe and then the one here in the Russell neighborhood. Don't mistake it with the Fish House that I reviewed on Winter Avenue about three years ago. Now that's a totally different, no affiliation. This place actually has seafood, chicken, and Italian beef sandwiches. I told y'all before, I'll go to all four corners of the earth to find a good Italian beef sandwich. So I'm gonna try this one out today. Before I get going, a couple shout outs. Cindy Hayward, I appreciate the gift you uh, shot me the other day on YouTube. And of course, Bill North continues with his generosity. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe to Jack Harlow's twin brother, my buddy Ryan started his new YouTube channel, Keep It Cool With Sheets, so hit the subscribe button and notification bell there. Also, y'all might have saw the uh, review I did the other day and posted where I did some history at the end and told about my connection to Butler County. A lot of y'all really enjoyed that story and testimony. If you enjoy the history, I have another YouTube channel that I've loaded a couple history videos to. It's just under Barry Goodall. Nothing to do with food. I've just gone on a couple vacations and did a couple history videos that had things to do with my ancestors. So if you like my history stories, check that one out. All right, so we're just six blocks away from my old boyhood home over here in Portland. So, you know, it's kind of like when I get down here in the West End, I get those good vibes of you know my boyhood growing up down here love it down here if you want to get some of the best food in louisville you got to travel get past 9th street and continue on west and like i've always said the best is in the west so explore a little bit you got to travel to all four corners of the county all right is that the one where you dip the whole sandwich and all you, you can get it that way yeah, that I asked for my double dipped, where they actually dip it twice. All right, just kind of checking the place out. As you saw, 100% health rating in here. Place is as clean as a pin. Uh, let me show you around real quick before my food gets here. It's going to be here any minute. I won't show you all on the camera. <laughs> Keep you out. Unless you want to be on it, I'll make you YouTube famous. <laughs> Yeah, I like the decor. And you just go up here. When you come in the door, you go up to the register, order your food. They got menu boards up there. The Oreo cake or pie. Which what's called? It's a moose cake. Moose cake. Yes, All right, but it looks good. I know that. Has it got Oreo in it? Okay, and of course they have bottled drinks and my favorite, they got the fountain drinks. Oh, and they got Big Red. Looks like I'm coming off the Diet Coke today. Just now noticed on something. Here's something you don't see a lot. Not only do they have the Big Red, they got Orange Crush on the fountain. I don't recall seeing Orange Crush on fountain anywhere I've been lately, but that takes me back to the old days living down in Portland because uh, my dad used to take me around the neighborhood. Every now and then he'd stop in this place called Rieger's Bar and he would have his Fall City beer and I would have me a, one of those old brown bottles of Orange Crush. So of course dad doesn't drink beer anymore. That was back in the old days. But Okay, here it is. Comes in six inch. Y'all know I'm probably going to end up maybe getting two of these but it's got that spicy jardinera, double dipped. 
with the au jus sauce. And I do have to go back to the car. This is two videos in a row. I forgot my hot sauce. I'll be right back. I'm actually trying Jay's tripod. He left it at my house last week when we did that uh, review of theirs on their channel. But anyway, I wanna go ahead and start with a couple of these whole wings. You know, you can't beat a whole wing. I like it because I like the flats and the drummies. I even eat the wing tips. And went to the car, you know, always come prepared. I like Frank's on chicken. I like, I like Tabasco too, but Frank's is my go-to for fried chicken. So here we go. All right, on the fries, you can get different seasoning. I got the Cajun seasoning. I think you can even get lemon pepper on there if you want. Mmm, really good. And they're not stingy with the fries either. All right, breading on there, really good, flaky. Seasoned really well. Wash it down with some of this big red. Ah. Mm. And y'all know, y'all saw that review south of Wrigley I did in Lexington where I had that Italian beef. Go ahead. Oh, it's wonderful. I, I'm just now getting started. I just the wings and the fries are my first. It took me a minute to get everything set up. But. Okay, I appreciate it. Young lady here, she's fantastic. I see her going table to table. Customer service, she's really friendly. The owner's friendly. Just talk to him. Everybody here's great. All right, but anyway, I was saying went to South of Wrigley for that Chicago Italian beef sandwich. I was there with Mark, the Predator Sellers. Uh, so y'all know I will travel far and wide for a good Italian beef. Well, now a word from my sponsor. Hi, I'm Lisa George, your Kentucky realtor. And thank you, Barry, for making me a part of this today. Uh, recently I was asked, so what sets you apart from all the other realtors? And my gut reaction was, I take care of my people. I always put my heart and soul into helping all of my people like they're my family. So, you know, buying a house, it, it's a big deal. And I take it very seriously. It's personal, but it doesn't have to be complicated. So if you're looking to buy or sell a house, I'm your girl. I will make sure to fight for you and get you everything you want. So just call me, 502-836-3100. All right. Watching that down with some more Big Red. See, it's got the jardinera, double dipped. It said six inch bun, but this, this looks bigger than a six inch bun to me. This looks more like a eight inch bun, but I ain't gonna complain. All right, before I do that, I also brought Old Dependable Grace, Saved by Grace. For y'all that want to know the background on the Saved by Grace, refer to my last video that I uploaded, which was the Burgers and Shakes video. Go to the end of the video, and I give about an eight-minute story, testimony, where I explain more about Saved by Grace. All right. Miss Bun... It's light, it's double dip, but it, it's still holding up real good. It's not sloppy and soggy. And I've had this sandwich now for about 10 minutes, so it's really holding up well. All right, here we go. 
Mm. When you eat an Italian beef, you got to get aggressive. Can't let the food control you. That's why you just like take charge of it. Mm. Folks, I'm just getting started, but I had, I was so hungry. I wanted to get the Italian beef sandwich first. So don't be going away because I got a lot more coming. Nice meeting y'all. Have a good stay. Sponsor. Welcome to Billy Bob's Barbecue and Amish Deli. A little country store with a whole lot to offer, so let's go in and see what they got. They've got homemade Amish jellies, pickles, jams, and honey and sorghum. They've got local Amish-made lunch meats and cheeses. And don't forget the award-winning Kansas City Gourmet Barbecue. Y'all don't know nothing about this Amish liver cheese and homemade sourdough bread. And don't forget about the homemade Amish fried apple pie. Just a 30 minute drive outside Louisville. It's veteran owned and y'all don't know nothing about this Billy Bob's barbecue and Amish deli. Okay, while well, I'm waiting on my next shift of food, I want to kind of show you the assortment here. They got not only the seafood, but they got like gyros. They got, on top of the Italian beef sandwich, they got Philly cheese steaks. I think chicken Philly. Do you have chicken Philly? Yeah, chicken Philly. I got uh, some more seafood coming, which I'm going to show you here in a minute. Y'all would think I'd be all seafooded out after I did those 14 fish fry videos in the last six weeks. But when it comes to catfish, I can't get enough. Yeah, they got all kinds of different kinds. Two-piece, three-piece catfish. They got mahi-mahi, cod. The young lady that I was talking to, she told me she prefers the cod, but oh, I'm all. I, all the fish okay. The fish good, but the cod the fish right, but I'm all codded out. I mean, all those Catholic Church fish fries, I do see they got grouper. I didn't even see that. If I have enough room, I might have to come back up and get a grouper sandwich. <laughs> Clam, snapper, man, they got it all. Like a kid in a candy store here. Too many choices. Show you the specials. Tuesday through Sunday. You see there, Tuesday's Philly cheesesteak. Thursday, they got Euros. Saturday, 25 wings. Wednesday, chicken sandwich. Friday, fish sandwich. Sunday, fish tacos. Okay, I told them to put these next uh, items into go boxes because I might actually take Melissa a couple leftover bites, but we'll see about that. So I told him to put it in the go container. But if you eat it here, it comes on these plates. So, I'm gonna start with this shrimp. I got the, I think it was an eight piece. You can get an eight piece or a 14 piece. And I opted for the rice this time. Because I've already tried their fries. So I'm gonna go with the rice. Hold up, I gotta go to the car. I promise that I would never use plastic forks again. I'll be right back. All right, Chris Todd, thank you again. All right, I'm gonna try the rice before I accentuate it. It's 
It's got some seasonings in there. It might be Old Bay. And these shrimp got a nice cornmeal breading, good sized shrimp. And it's not over breaded, so you're gonna be tasting more, more shrimp than breading. These shrimp, by the looks of them, kind of remind me of shark seafood, that one review Rodney and I did over there in Hikes Point. Look very similar. All right, look at that. These are some big old shrimp. All right, a little cocktail. You know that's a good sized shrimp when it takes a triple snapping turtle bite to eat one. Fried shrimp, I eat tail and all. Don't waste a morsel. Kind of like on those wings. Wings, gotta eat those wing tips too. You look at that plate, you're not gonna see any wing tip bones on there because I already ate them. All right, now I'm gonna accentuate this rice, even though it's very tasty. I gotta put hot sauce on my rice, <laughs> always. Looks like uh, yellow jasmine rice. It's got a spice on there. That's not Old Bay. That kind of tastes like a, it's got a little Middle Eastern spice in there. I'm not quite placing it. Mm. What we got here? Oh, comes with slaw. I didn't even know that. Little four ounce cup of slaw. Good slaw. Mayonnaise base. Not too sweet. Ah, these shrimp, though, I am really impressed. These are as good as sharks, which those were delicious. Rodney, remember this. If you see this review, you got to come down here and give this place a shot. All right. Look there. And look at that bun. That's actually an oversized bun and not a small piece of catfish. So don't let this video fool you. That's a nice size catfish filet for a sandwich. Cornmeal breading. Big old bun. Look at that. Oh, what am I thinking? I'm not even fronting. I'm just going to put the hot sauce on first because you already know what's going on there. All right, here we go. Mmm. That's some good tasting catfish there. Especially that breading. Cornmeal breading, got a nice little peppery seasoning to it. Oh, and I didn't even see this. They got tartar sauce on both sides and shredded lettuce on there. So you only need to put extra tartar on there. It's already got it on both, both sides of the bun. washing it down with that diet. So far, I'm batting a thousand, folks. Everything's just terrific. So far? Mm-hmm. You know I'm about to get dessert. I was just over getting a refill on the diet, and I saw on the condiment section they had some malt vinegar. So, even though it's catfish and not cod, 
Not Irish today. I'm still going to use some of this malt vinegar. I think I have just found Louisville's best hidden secret. This is a definite treasure I've just found here in the West End. All right, before I get out of here, I got to get some of this Oreo cake. Now, they don't have cold milk, so I'm going to have to wash it down with some of this. I got to switch from Big Red to diet. You can only get so much sugar at one time. All right. Looks like it's got Oreo mixed in with that filling. Mmm. Mmm. Got the chocolate cake on the on the bottom and the top, and then the Oreo icing in the middle. Mmm. Mmm. Man, some milk would go good with this. Mm. You notice I'm out of grace. And I was just using this. It was about a third full when I did that Burgers and Shake review two days ago. So, you know, I go through some grace. Mmm. So good. Mm. I was telling y'all earlier about the young lady that was uh, so gracious and great on the customer service, checking on all the customers. Young lady, what's your name? My name is Samaya. Samaya, that's such a pretty name. Okay, and how long have you been working here? Two years. Two years, and how long has the fish house been open here? Oh, so you like you came with the grand opening? Well, I would say, well, I'll give it. I'll be two years into it. Two years, it's been open to you. Okay. I've been here since I say two years, no thing. All right, and are you from this neighborhood? And where'd you go to high school? More high school. More, okay, because I know on that side of Broadway is Eastern kids. I worked at Eastern for 27 yeah, years. Back and forth, back and forth with my mother and my dad. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All I'm right. I actually graduated May 28th. Oh, you haven't graduated yet? Well, I graduated in December, but I walked the stage in May. Oh, okay. I hear you. So you graduated early, and then you're going to walk. Okay. Well, congratulations. And I just want to thank you for all your great customer service and friendliness. You like you think you got to come back. Oh, definitely. Oh, I'm from 28th over here. 28th and oh, around. You got to come back Okay, definitely. Hey, I love coming back to my neighborhood. Do you eat Phillies? All the time. Okay, well, listen. Our Philly steak deal, eight ninety nine Tuesdays. You all hear that? They got a daily special. I'm going to show you on the menu board on the Close way out. Close on Mondays. Close on Mondays. Okay. Don't all right. So, yeah, make sure you check their Facebook page, their Google page. And our uh, official page, the Fish House 23. All right. There you go. Come and see us. Thank you. All right. As you saw, everything was fantastic. The food was great. The customer service was awesome. Samaya, she just added a really nice touch to my dining experience today, I got to say. So y'all get down here, come see Samaya. Very friendly. Every food item I had from the catfish to the shrimp, the Italian beef sandwich, everything was fantastic. Spicy fries. It, they just have an assortment of everything, and everything is good. So don't be scared to cross 9th Street. Keep on headed west. And if you look at my channel, you'll see a list of places that I have done in the West End. And like I said, if you want to find the best food in Louisville, you got to go to the West End, the South End, not just the East End, Bardstown Road, New Lou, all that stuff. If you want the real family-owned operated good food you got to get out into the surrounding areas and get out of your comfort zones keep watching for sam the national treasure we're going to be doing a review coming up soon and i'm also looking into doing a youtube premiere video 
where I can interact live with the subscribers and talk to them live during the video. So be on the lookout for that. I'm probably gonna be doing that here in the next month or so. Also, I'm going to Daytona next week for spring break. I've already got like three restaurants I've investigated. I'm gonna be doing reviews down there. So be on the lookout for those. And with that, y'all don't know nothing about this fish house and grill. Now you know the facts, but why I'm on a mission, you're always welcome back to Good Country Kitchen.